Good morning. Good morning, Facebook friends. Sending you guys so much love, so much radiant love this morning. I hope you're doing wonderful. I'm sitting here. I've just moved my office around. For those of you who have uh, uh, been watching me for a little while, you'll notice that the, it's the same space, but just set up differently. What's cool, I'll show you guys another day, is that I'm looking out my window right now, and it has snow. It snowed all day yesterday, and it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful right now. The trees that have no leaves on them, they have the the branches right now are covered just in a little layer of snow. So there's this brown branches with white snow on top, and everything's a little quieter because there was you know a couple inches of snow. And I love that feeling of when everything's quiet and and kind of soundproofed from the insulation of the snow. So that's what I'm looking at. And then in Colorado, when where I live, I'm elevated a little bit, and the skies in the morning are often pink and orange and beautiful bright colors. And so I've moved my office space around. Hey, Vesela, good morning. I've moved my office space around to uh from basically facing a, a blank wall to looking out the window and and then i and i hung these pictures up so i'm really excited to be here with you this morning and just to share you know this this time and space and i'm going to talk about about integrity why am i talking about integrity i really believe that we live in a day and age today where that's what people want. It's not about balance anymore. You're not trying to find balance. You're trying to be integrated fully, whatever that means in terms of your career, your relationships, your health, your your finances, all of that. You want it to be fully you, not a uh, balance like somebody might be like you need to be, you know, uh, you know, spend eight hours a day at work and then eight hours sleeping and then eight hours enjoying yourself. That's, you know, balance. That may not be what works for you. What works for you might be something, what what I'm going to talk about in terms of integrity is really just about aligning with your true self, allowing all parts of you to come into whole. And I'm going to talk about three ways, three things you can do that will help you with your integrity because integrity i really believe also is the sense of you want one thing but you're not getting it you're saying one thing but you're doing something else you're feeling one thing your life is showing something different something is a little bit off wherever it is and i the reason this is so important to me i'll share with you it feels a little vulnerable to share but good morning angela so good to see you sweet pea uh integrity is that I didn't used to be in integrity. I, for a few years, especially I was, you know, I was teaching, I was a professor at Ohio State University, the Ohio State University, and I was partying a bunch on the weekends and I just, I felt like embarrassed and ashamed. And I was trying to be like this professional person and then a wild woman on the weekends. And it really felt out of integrity uh, on many levels. I was in a relationship for a while that I did not want to be in. So I had all these like horrible thoughts in my head. Like I would even think in my head, like, I hate him. <laughs> it's horrible. I'm laughing because I, I know I'm, you know, i I know that it was just a simple reflection of that I wasn't in alignment. I wasn't in integrity. I wasn't expressing. I wasn't, you know, taking the actions that really served me in life. So that's what I'm here to talk about. How can you be in more integrity? How can you integrate all parts of yourself so you can feel more whole? You can feel more happy. And why do you want to be in integrity? Well, your relationships will improve. Absolutely. When you're in integrity, your your job when you're in a, at your job or if you have a business, people feel it. People know if you're walking your talk. And that's what a lot of integrity is about, walking your talk. So how can you walk? Nobody's ever taught you maybe. Good morning, Carly. So three ways. The first is journal. Why? Well, journaling what reveals what we call stories. So you're telling yourself, potentially, maybe you are, maybe somebody else is that you know in your love in your life that you love, like they're telling themselves two stories that don't align. They don't go together. Like I want to 
move to Bali, for example. I don't want to move to Bali. I would like to visit. Oh, I just remembered I had a dream about Bali last night. That's funny. Just came through. Woo! So what can you do? You can journal because maybe you want to move to Bali. You keep saying it. You keep telling your friends. But you're not taking any action towards Bali. That's really not an integrity. So if you really want it, but you doubt it, if you really want a new car, if you really want a new relationship, if you really want to grow your business, if you really want to get in shape this year, feel amazing, eat healthy food, whatever it is, but you're not doing it, then you're not in integrity. There's something misaligned. So journaling is one way to just reveal. Reveal what's going on so you can feel it and heal it. Reveal, feel, heal. So journaling is one way to start to align, start to become an integrity. You'll start to notice that you write things. You're like, is that really what's going on? I'm writing this down. This is my life. I'm saying one thing and I'm doing something else. I'm doing two things that don't align with each other maybe even. Maybe you're telling one person one thing and telling somebody else another thing. Really, it's usually yourself. So journaling is such a beautiful way to reveal more about yourself so you can align and you can see what's going on inside as you write it outside because what's going on inside is reflecting outside in your life and if there's something you want in your life why not start to write a little bit and reveal okay good morning Lillian uh, my real name for those of you who don't know is Lillian Lila is just a name that I chose when I moved to Denver I'll do another video on that another day <laughs> I got a little embarrassed okay number two mentorship mentorship coaching therapy something Having somebody else in your life that can reflect upon what's going on in your life, that can share with you what they see, is so valuable. I have spent a couple hundred thousand dollars <laughs> on mentorship, coaching, uh, therapy, so that I could actually reveal the things that were holding me back. I knew that I had uh, challenges from my childhood. I grew up in a very abusive home. Um, I was never allowed to be around children. I was around adults all the time. So I was very mature. So then when I got in college, I turned into a child and I got a wild streak, right? <laughs> and so now I have a little bit of a mix of both. I'm a bit of a child and a bit of a grown up. I, I have integrity now though. I, I choose when to play in those energies. It's not just willy nilly, out, you know, unconscious. So mentorship has helped me. I've gone through therapy. I've had yoga teachers. I've had coaches. Uh, uh, you know, mentors, accountability partner, uh, all of this, somebody else in your life that, so first you journal, you can see yourself, then you have somebody else you bring into your life. This is vulnerable for p most people. Most people don't want to reveal their shit. Let's just be honest. They don't want to feel the fact that they're not perfect. It's okay. You are not perfect. I am not perfect. I've done some weird stuff, some wrong stuff. Not wrong, really just stuff to lesson, learn lessons. Nothing's really wrong. Everything's fine. You're just learning lessons. So integrity. Write it out, number one. Um, number two, get somebody to be a mirror for you. Get somebody to, to, you know, to see you for who you are a little bit deeper because you're, you're blind to yourself potentially. Or maybe you know somebody in your life who is wanting one thing and they're not getting it. And you, you can see what's going on, but you share with them and they don't listen. They, 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 they just can't hear you. But if they get a mentor, a coach, a therapist, a teacher, a, 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 an accountability partner, somebody that they see as having a role in their life to reflect so that they can grow, that is the person that can help them. It's not always like friends and families. You, you can give free advice out the you know what. <laughs> But it's not until somebody chooses to want to shift, chooses to want to grow, chooses to want to release any of the stuff that's misaligning so that they can actually come into an integrity. Not everybody wants to be in integrity. That's okay. Job security for me. <laughs> Someday they will. I'm here to help people get integrity. So if you want, you know, I'm going to tell you the third thing in a second because this is like for what this is the magic that I bring to the world. This is the magic that you bring to the world that you just don't even know yet. So I'm going to share it with the third one. And this is my favorite. This is really what I want to share. But I wanted to give you three things in case this last one doesn't resonate with you. I think it will, though. So if you have, if you feel like there's places in your life where you're not in integrity, and it's not a diss. It's not like, uh, you know, it just means there's not an integration of all parts of yourself. Maybe your masculine and your feminine energies aren't balanced. Right? Maybe your bank account and your friendships aren't balanced. Maybe your social life and your work life aren't quite, you're not 
I don't want to say balanced, but in harmony, integrated. Maybe you're not allowing yourself to be bigger. Maybe you're allow going too big. Like, there's all these different things that go on, and you don't even realize it. And oftentimes, it links to some story around money, around family, around what you should be doing, what, what you should look like, that like, you should feel. Like feeling bad, there's no such thing. You just have feelings. Okay, so number three, my favorite. Hey, Susan, good morning. My favorite is the body. You can use your body starting to, I'm going to show you in my own body, which is actually quite vulnerable. I mean, it's kind of vulnerable. I don't want to show you that I don't have a perfect body, right? Like nobody wants to show that on, on camera, but I'm going to. And the reason is because I'm, I'm going to give an example. I'm working on integrating my masculine and my feminine energies, and I'm working on helping others do the same. So my body and your body, if you're, if you have, if you feel like your masculine and feminine energies aren't fully together working like sometimes you're just too masculine sometimes too feminine to, you're like still trying to find that mental space where you can play in both energies whenever you want tap in but they're working in harmony together hope that makes sense your body is a reflection okay also if you have mommy issues daddy issues if you've got money issues spirituality issues heart issues broken heart I had a guy the other day say to me and I did not want to it was really interesting because I didn't want to share this but this beautiful man like Superman looking man, like he was broad shoulders, slick back hair, you know, really beautiful person, spoke really nice about what he was doing in the world. He's helping male leaders um, become fit and take care of themselves so they can um, be stronger leaders. And, and he asked me and he wanted me to tell him and I was like, ah, he said, well, if you can see in my body uh, what's going on, you know, energetically, you know, what, what's going on? And immediately, I could see that his chest was caved in. I could see that he was brokenhearted, not loving himself enough is really what it came down to. And when I said, you know, you're not, you probably, you probably use some self-love, and he, it was like, he felt it real quick. <laughs> I, and I nailed it. And it wasn't, it wasn't, I just know, you can read the body. The body reveals everything. And so you're, you can use your body, work on your body, and that's what I help people do a lot in their businesses, in their life, is how can we use your body and your breath to reveal what's going on in your bank account, in your relationships, in your health, all of that, it's very much related. So this gentleman, I'm gonna take the shirt off here. So this gentleman, he had his chest here really caved in, not super, but because he's a strong man, but just enough that I could tell that he wasn't, his heart space was a little bit closed, like he was not loving himself probably enough, and, and, it, and it really revealed. So I'm going to show in my body, and I'd be interested in asking you guys, like, do you have parts of your body, like parts of your face, your right arm, your left arm? Do things feel different on the left or the right? Or do you fe things feel different, say, um, yesterday I was working with somebody in the lower body. This is very common. The lower body is more numb. It doesn't feel as much as the upper body. The breath only might come to here and not all the way down to the belly and hips and, and, and pelvic floor, the, you know, that whole area, the bowl. And so, integration, so your body, you know, the back and face, okay? Your back body could kind of be asleep and your front body like, so, I love this topic. I'm like so geeked out right now. I hope um, anybody out there who's watching this now or later, thank you so much because I love looking at the human form. I'm, I'm, I'm I just got all <laughs> choked up. Um, I, I'm fascinated by your body, by the by your human body because it's revealing so much about you. Your face, your body, the way you move. It's revealing what's going on in your life. And so what's neat, it's like, it's not about like, ooh, peekaboo into your life. I don't like look at everybody and psychoanalyze them. It's not like that. But it's that if you want support in terms of like, hey, what could I do in my body? That's the cool part. Because your body's holding stories you don't even know. Okay? If you open your body or integrate your body in the places where it's asleep, there's an energetic hole, you need more space, whatever it is. For example, I'm going to give you two examples in my body that's going on, what I'm working on right now in terms of integration. Those are the places that are actually holding stories about your life that you may not know. We may never know. It's okay. But those are the places that 
you're stopping, you're holding back, you're stuck probably, or you're asleep too. Like there's parts of your life you're like not even looking at, and maybe you don't even know, that's okay. But your body is revealing it. So I'm here to support your journey. I'm working on it in my own body. I've been working on this for quite a few years. I love this stuff. But your breath and your body, once you work on noticing, really paying attention, they, it starts to reveal the stories potentially or clear the stories even better. And you start to bring in new stories and you start to live the life you want and not wonder why you're stuck because your physical form is stuck. So you're stuck in life. So let's talk. I'm going to show you my own body. So Susan says, my left is weaker than my right and I'm very forgetful I'm getting tested for Alzheimer's and mini stroke okay beautiful so thank you for sharing I really appreciate you uh, uh, being open and sharing with the group and and what I'll say is so your left is weaker than your right so what I would do if my left were weaker than my right because my right is actually weaker than my left because it's tighter so I'm working on a on a similar uh, in a similar space in terms of finding equal left and right and it's often the masculine I'm a little chilly and put this on <laughs> it's often the masculine and the feminine energy so the left being weaker makes sense that's the feminine energy side the right is the masculine energy side and so if you've been in a life of like go 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 push 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 it might be time to pause Take some time for yourself and settle in. See if you can start to strengthen your left side, work on your left side a little bit. Let your right side relax. You can body and show you the right side of my face and then the left. I'm gonna be honest, this feels very vulnerable because I do not like my profile and I've realized this recently. So I'm working on that even, the judgment around my face. Isn't that interesting that what the video can do? So in terms of Alzheimer's and mini stroke, um, you know, I would love to have a conversation with you. I have some ideas. I don't want to throw a bunch out there because I know that um, I'm not going to give unsolicited advice, right? I have some ideas that can support your journey, things that um, I've been, you know, that have that've been known to help others, okay? So if you want, uh, I'll send you a little message after this video, Susan, and we'll have a little conversation if you'd like, okay? So, but I don't want to pry into your life. I want to just support you, whatever you want, and I'm here for you, girl. Okay. So this, this face thing, so you'll see, I'm going to show you the right side of my face. You'll notice I have my bangs even on the left side, and even the way I sit, I you'll tend to see the left side of my face more. That's the feminine side of my face. Yeah, um, thanks, Susan. Yeah, I really appreciate you sharing because there's going to be other people who are watching this video now or later who have people in their life that are challenged potentially with Alzheimer's, and I want to... I want to actually, I would rather do another video on it because I, I don't want to give out a ton of advice on it, but I want to put it together a beautiful video for it probably. That's what I'll do too. So I'll have a conversation with you and do a video about it because um, it's something that the entire nation right now is is facing and I really believe that um, there are some solutions and uh, we can talk about it. So left side and right side, spend some time with yourself seeing, hmm, how could I, even looking in the mirror, how could I get each side to be more you know, soft one side or engage the other side, maybe lift one side, you gotta play with it because your body is actually imbalanced because of what's going on inside and you don't realize what's going on inside of you is making your body imbalanced and then it's, it's a feedback loop. So you can go into your body and actually, right? And I talked about journaling, I talked about getting somebody else, but about finding integrity in your body, that's what this video is end up turning more about, which I love because the body is <laughs> it's like my favorite, my favorite thing to talk about. Okay, so the, I'm gonna show you the right side. I've been I've been really resistant. I can tell. I don't even want to show you. So the right side of my face. Just just notice for a second. I'm gonna show you each side. Okay, and then uh, the left side. And you'll probably notice if you go and you know even in your own body that one side's different. I I wouldn't I made sure to like look out and try to think the same thing. I was like beautiful snowy mountain tops. <laughs> so I try to keep the same facial expression. I'm not sure that if I if I did or not. Um, but what I would say is that you know your my right side tends to be tighter, looks more tense. My left side tends to be softer. Even the way I talk, you'll see it's like the left side of my face will go up more than normal right side, and then. <laughs> And even when I smile, the left side, there's a little more wrinkle, you know, that sticks out a little. So there's little subtle things, and this is like, you know, it's 
pretty uncomfortable talking about my face right now with you guys, but <laughs> it's super valuable because your face is doing some weird stuff too or different stuff or not just weird stuff, just it's, it's, it's tilted. Your head all day long might be one way and you don't even know and you're walking all day long. So you start to pay attention in your body. That's a way to find integration, integrity in life. Your body is revealing to other people what's going on in your life. They don't know it. You don't know it. It's subconscious, but it's like your physical form is what people see. They know what's going on. So if you're not walking your you know, talk, if you're not feeling the way that you're presenting, if you're not doing the things in life that you want to do, other people can feel it. You can feel it. It's going to wear your body down. There's just going to be this like disharmony, you know, imbalance, disintegration, disintegrate. Your body will wear down. Okay. And, and I'm not here to be a Debbie Downer, but it's true. Your body will wear down if you're not aligned. Um, you know, when I, I was sharing the story earlier, right before I got on the video about when I was not in integrity, when I was in a relationship I wasn't enjoying, when I was in a career and, and, and social life that did not match one another very well. Um, my body, I had, I mean, I was going to acupuncture, doctors, taking medicine, all this stuff because I had super high blood pressure. I had like um, throat issues. Oh, even think about it makes me emotional. Um, heartburn, uh, sciatica, <laughs> toes. I got breaking toes. I mean, there are all these all these things I could go on and on. So stressed. I mean, I had got so many gray hairs during that time. Silver, silver highlights, I call them silver highlights during that period. So all these things in the, my physical form wore down. I looked older. My eyelids were like drooping. I was 30 pounds heavier. I mean, my body was reacting very much because I was not in integrity. I was not integrating all parts of myself. I was denying myself love and care and sweetness. I was denying myself the opportunity to express my creative intellect because that's what I was, I was telling myself I wasn't creative. I was just a scientist, okay? And that did not feel good. I liked to dance and cook and color and, and um, speak and do all these fun stuff. So, so hey, Angela. So uh, the three things, I'm just gonna wrap up here because I gotta get, I, I gotta get to my bow spring class, uh, is how can we be in more integrity? How can we find integration in our life? One, journal. Start to reveal to yourself what's going on. Potentially, there's stories that aren't aligned, and then you can find them and align them. Reveal them, feel them, heal them. Number two, so number one is journal. Number two is get a mentor, a coach, a therapist, somebody else in your life, accountability partner, that can reveal to you the stories that aren't quite aligning towards your vision. If you want a new house, but you're telling yourself you only deserve an apartment, Get somebody in your life that's going to call you out on that because you don't even realize it maybe. It's okay. You just need somebody else in your life. So the third is your body. Pay attention. What's going on in your body is what's going on in your mind. What's going on in your body is what's going on in your life. What's going on in your body is what's going on in your business. What's going on in your body is going on in your bank account and your relationships everything. So I really believe that if you journal every day, if you find a mentor, if you really place, pay close attention and work with integrating your body, you'll be able to get what you want in this life. Okay. You'll be able to build the kinds of relationships, have the career, you know, feel really solid in terms of the enjoyment activities you like. You'll have more time for your friends, your family, all that, you know, that the healthy stuff. I like to go to retreats and workshops. So that's what I like to take my time to do. So you'll have time to do the things you want to do when you integrate. You're not going to be thrown off by feeling like you're out of integrity. So hang around people. That's number four. That's a little bonus. Hang around people who are doing the same, who are also in integrity, who are working on themselves all the time to make sure that what they speak is what they do. What they speak and do is what they feel, what they want. Okay? I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday. Tuesday's nothing but a Tuesday. That's one of my astrologer, <laughs> astrologer guys that I listen to. He always says, Tuesday's nothing but a Tuesday. I really don't know why he says that, but I like it. So I'm going to share it with you. Sending blessings for a really, really beautiful day. And if you need help um, in terms of finding one area of your life that you want more integrity, you want to integrate this part of yourself into your life, you're, you're tired of denying it, 
uh, reach out. Let's have a conversation. I would love to support your journey. I'm here for you, okay? See you soon. See you manana. Bye, guys. Namaste.